I am now still trying to finish off the question. So I want to find a potential difference across here. So I'd say V is equal to I multiplied by R. So V is equal to I, which is 220 over 107, multiplied by R, which is 7. So my V there is going to be what? 14.39. In this stage, okay, we can put in a decimal point and units are volts. Now, here's where it gets tricky. I now go back to my singular one. And remember the last day we had the single one on the left-hand side. Here the single one is on the right-hand side. It doesn't make any difference, but we just deal with the single one first. Therefore, if this is 14.39 volts, what's my potential difference from A to B? 20 minus 14.39? 20 minus, because that potential difference plus that potential difference must be the total, which is 20. Mm -hmm. So I know what this is, I know the total, so I take this away from the total. So it's 20 minus 14.39, which is equal to? 5.607. 5.6, okay, so we keep it two decimal places, 5.61. Units? Volts. 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 So now we say, right, it's 5.61 across AB. If I look at the 5 ohm resistor, what's the resistance is obviously 5. What's the potential difference across it? 5.61. Five. Five the opposite ratio is changing around. I've got my potential difference here is 5.61. What's it going to be there? 5.61. No, it's going to be much easier. It's just the, the 5.61. Because remember, this is in parallel with this and is in parallel with this. And voltages in parallel would be the same. How much work will I have to do to bring charge from there to there? 5.61 volts. How much work will I have to do to bring, or how many, yeah, how much energy will I have to do to bring charge from there to there? 5.61 volts. So it's just the 14.39 divided by 2? Divided by? 2. By 2? Because that's what's left after the take rate, take rate, uh, the 7. No, it's, 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 you take this away from the total, which is 20. Yeah to give me my 5.61. Yeah. So that's the potential difference across there, oh, of course, uh, and across there, and across there, because they're all in parallel. Uh, so basically, it's just telling you the amount of work you would have to do to bring charge from one place to another. It's going to be the same through the top resistor, through the bottom resistor, or through here. Why, if you use the two resistors together, surely, no, I, I won't go down that analogy. Uh, no, I won't, won't get too much deeper. I, a, a little aside, just a small little aside. And again, it just tests your overall understanding. If I have one resistor, and it's going from there to there, and it's 5 ohms, right? And let's say my voltage, V equals 5 volts up here, and R is 5. What's my current going to be? Do it in your head. 1. 1. I is going to be V divided by R. That's 1 voltage, 1 current. If I take V equals 5, and that really should be the symbol I'm using, and I come back here and I put in two resistors. Let me see if I can draw my symbol for two resistors. One over five, isn't it? That's five, that's five. Is my overall resistance, I now put in a second resistor, is it going to be greater or less? Yes. Great. I've added in a second resistor, is the overall resistance going to be greater or less? Oh, greater. Oh, greater. Oh, greater. Right, no, because it's one over. Less. You add them together, so it's one over. You can look at it mathematically, it's one over it. Or you can apply it in terms of the logic of the river coming through. Yes, you've added a second resistor in it, but it's a bit like a stream. You've had one constriction here. If you now put in a second pat, even though that second pat is constricted, you're still going to get more water going through the whole lot than if you just had one constricted pat. So I've added a second <coughs> resistor, but it's giving the current an alternative pat through it. So you're going to get more current going through here than if there was one just like that. So adding a second <coughs> resistor in parallel reduces the overall resistance and therefore increases the overall current. If I put that in series over here, what would happen? Maybe, uh, bigger resistance. Definitely a bigger resistance and therefore smaller a smaller current. But if, so if you do put one in the series, it makes the resistance more? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In parallel, even though you're adding another resistor, you intuitively think, I'm adding another resistor, therefore the resistance goes up. But what you're actually doing is creating another path. So even though that other resistor is a constriction, it's another path for the electrons to go through. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
so therefore the overall resistance is down. Okay. And just worth throwing in there just to tease out the little nuances of this. I don't understand the 5.61 thing. Like I know how you got it and everything, but what's it for? I, I thought it would be a little. Okay, the 20 volts is an indication of the work done to bring current the whole way around the circuit. Yeah. Right. We know that we've used 14.39 to get from here to here. Yeah. So the only amount of energy we can have left, if you want to think about it in energy terms, must be the 5.61. So basically there's 5.61 volts, which basically says if I want to bring one coulomb of charge from one place to another, I've got to do 5.61 joules. It can go across the top, it can go across the bottom, but either way, from there to there, it will be the 5.61. Okay. Okay. And again, you might go away and think about that and come back with another question. So R is 5, my V is 5.61, so I'm looking for I, which is V divided by R, so it's 5.61 divided by 5, so it's going to be what? 1.1. 1 point. 1.1. 1.122. 1 okay, 1.122, so we keep it as 1.1, .1 uh, like that, and that's my amps. And then I want to look at the, is it 6 is the other guy? My R equals 6, the V is still 5.61, the I is equal to V divided by R is equal to 5.61 divided by 6 is going to be what? 0.935, which is 0.94 amps. And now to double check that, I'm just about finished. What should these two add up to? Uh, to the total current. Yeah, I've got one current going this way. I've got one current going that way. So if I add the two of these up together, I get 2.04. And what's 220 divided by 107? It is about 2.0 something. Uh, 2.056. 2.056 or 2.06. 2.06, 2.04, why don't they match up exactly? Because you managed it. Because of our rounding off errors here in the we introduced the number. Okay? So to recap, step one, you get the total resistance, and you must know your rules for res adding resistors in parallel and in series. Using that, you get the total current, and then you look at the individual bits and pieces. You start off with the one on its own. That gets you the potential difference across there. Take it from the total to get the potential difference across there, and then you work through those two. Is that okay? Any questions? How are we doing on time? We have 10 minutes, it's 6 minutes. Deriving the formula for resistors in parallel and resistors in series. Do you want to try it yourselves first? Yes, you will. Can you shut that off, Karina?